Video two, marking your horse to take the template. In video two, I want to show you how to mark your horse, which will help you take the most accurate template. Stickers have been provided, but you can also use chalk if needed. There are three steps to placing your guide stickers on your horse. Take your time and be as accurate as you can. Step one is on the near side, your horse's left side. You need to feel for the point of the scapula or shoulder blade and place the sticker three fingers behind. I've included a diagram of where this point is. All horses are a little different and some have a more upright or sloping shoulder, so make sure you feel the back edge of the shoulder blade. This is very important as this is where the point of the tree should sit behind, allowing full range of movement without interfering with the shoulder. If your saddle is placed correctly, your horse's shoulder blade should be able to move freely without touching the metal part of the tree of the point of the tree. Don't get this confused with any lever or flocked areas in front of this point of the saddle. These parts are soft and movable and won't cause your horse any problems. It's strictly the metal part of the tree that needs to be three fingers behind this point, not the entire saddle. Step two. This is slightly trickier on some horses as you need to identify where the 18th rib is and follow the sloping line up to the spine. Some basic anatomy research will help you. Feel along the side of your horse until you feel the last rib. Your horse's ribs will slope up at an angle towards the spine. You want to place your finger on the outside of the last rib and then follow the angle of the rib up to the spine and place your sticker. I have included another diagram to help. This is important to get right as it will help you identify the full weight bearing surface your horse can take and therefore your maximum seat length of a non-customised saddle. For reference, a custom saddle may be needed if you find you need a longer seat length than your horse can take. Saddle makers can produce a shorter panelled saddle with a larger seat. Step 3. You can just repeat step 1 on the right side of the horse. This is to identify if your horse has one shoulder set back a little further. It can help to place a sticker on the top of the wither lined up with the near side. This way you can see imaginary line running down from the top sticker to see if they both line up. You need to fit the saddle to the shoulder that is set further back. If this is the case, and by the way it's quite common, don't worry if your horse has this. Your awareness and better fitting tack is going to help your horse's movement and development.